Hello everyone, thanks for tuning to today's first video. We're going to have a look at the ECMWF 30 day uh, model for uh, the UK and the Europe 2. Uh, it takes us into the end of June. It's at the Hungarian Met Office. Uh, for this one, so a big thank you to them for supplying us uh, with these charts. Now, we can't show you mean sea level pressure or uh, 500 millibar heights with this, but you can get a broad idea of what model it is forecasting in terms of the pressure setup from its temperature and precipitation anomalies. So that's what we're going to do for today's uh, first video um later on we'll have a week's 10 day video update with all of the regular features and then tonight we've got a second update for download and also the isle of white uh festival happening uh not this weekend but the following uh weekend right so get on with update number one for you today then i'm going to begin with the uh week 23 week one for our forecast period but week 23 for this year temperature anomaly for uh, the uk and for the rest of europe too it looks like it could be a relatively cool week actually in uh, the west of uh, Europe, cooler than average temperature anomalies from the UK and Ireland down through much of France and into Spain and Portugal as well. So quite cool uh, in the weekend in western Europe and also over Iceland. We never really mentioned Iceland because it's a bit covered up by uh, the timestamp just there. But it uh, also looks quite cool across uh, Iceland. Now the rest of Europe, really from eastern France and uh, the low countries eastwards, very warm scene. So most central parts of Europe are coming out much more than average this week. Pretty hot, actually, and those hot conditions extend up into the northeast of Europe, too. The highest anomalies uh, to average around these Baltic states, where we're kind of like going up to 6 to 10 degrees uh, above average, and that goes into the far west of Russia, too. Down through the Mediterranean, it's a bit of an east-west split, so uh, we find that Spain and Portugal, along with the Balearic Islands, generally on the cooler than average side, from Corsica, Sardinia and Italy, eastwards, it's warmer than average, it's quite warm down across Greece and Turkey as well in uh, the week ahead. So it looks like high pressure is basically going to be in the east, with low pressure tending to be more towards the west. But let's confirm that with the precipitation anomaly for the week ahead, taking us from the 3rd through to the 9th of June. And again, it's looking pretty wet in the west of Europe and the northwest too. So much of Scandinavia and down into low countries, into uh, northern and, and uh, western parts of France. And then up to Spain, up to uh, the UK and Ireland, and also the far north of Spain. So generally in this far west, northwest corner, looks wetter than average. So obviously low pressure in control in uh, the week ahead with showers along as well as the rain and cool temperatures uh, as well. Uh, the ridge looks as though it's going to be sitting across uh, eastern parts. Of, uh, of Europe, of the central areas, then up towards the northeast, high pressure, free bear, bring dry and average conditions. Too much of southern Germany, around the Alps, down into Italy. Uh, I mean, going northeast was up in towards uh, the northeast of Europe. In the southeast, we've gone around the Balkans, then over to Black Sea. A bit wet and average through there. Much of the Mediterranean looks quite dry away from northern Spain and Portugal. Anyway, quite a dry scene through much of the Med, Greece and Turkey. Looking relatively dry too in the week ahead. We go through to week 24 uh, uh, for this year, which is week two for our forecast period. Takes us from the 10th through to the 16th of uh, June. So the heat is being pushed into the east and the southeast of Europe. So it's kind of like from the Black Sea going up the western side of Russia and affecting countries like uh, Ukraine, for example, as well. Uh, further west, the central area is pretty warm sea, not as hot as it is further east, but most parts of Germany, Poland, for example, coming out significantly warm than average temperature anomalies from around uh, 1 to 6 degrees above average. Up over Scandinavia, uh, so it's average to a little bit more than average there. But in the far west of Europe, it remains quite cool, not as cool as it is in week one, but uh, nevertheless, UK, Ireland, was sort of on the cooler side of average, I think, there. Uh, and I mean, down into southwestern parts of uh, France and into Spain and Portugal, generally below average temperatures for those areas too. So it remains quite cool in the far west. Most central eastern parts of Europe are looking a good deal uh, warmer. Precipitation anomalies 
look like that. So again, driving average in the east for Ridge. Looks like it's being forced more towards the eastern side of Europe at this point. Central and western areas generally uh, close to average with precipitation. Perhaps still hinting at being a little bit on the wet of an average side in the far west. So parts of the UK particularly down to France, looks uh, a bit wetter than average through here, from the 10th through to the 16th of June. It's a weaker signal compared to week uh, one, but nevertheless, I think the west of Europe, up to the middle part of the month anyway, possibly still a little bit on the unsettled and uh, cool side. Then we go through to week three, which is the 17th through to the 23rd of June. And uh, warmer than average temperature anomalies again through the central and eastern parts of uh, Europe out to the west remains close to average, possibly hints up becoming a little bit less cool across the UK and Ireland, just beginning to lift temperature perhaps onto the milder side of average, but even so, uh, remains um, a little bit cooler out in the west of Europe for Scandinavia, southern parts of Norway and Sweden, and down to Denmark, more than average further north, though, across Scandinavia, uh, it's, uh, it's close to average through there. Into the Mediterranean, it's a little bit cooler, actually, through this week, especially in the central and western parts of the Med, from Italy over towards Spain and Portugal. It's only close to average with those temperature anomalies. The southeastern corner of the Med remains uh, quite warm for Greece and Turkey. Precipitation anomalies looking like that. So possibly coming a bit drier across northern parts of uh, Europe. We're possibly hinting. It's a weak signal, as it always is. In uh, the third week, the scene is getting weaker the further out we're going. But uh, possibly just a little bit drier here as we're going into the second half of the month for northern parts of Europe. Maybe signs of some high pressure building in uh, around Scandinavia, perhaps. Conversely, southern parts of Europe through the Mediterranean possibly turning a little bit more unsettled. Again, it's a weak signal, but we could be seeing pressures falling across southern Europe as they're rising a little bit across northern parts of uh, Europe, perhaps. And then we go through to uh, week four, which is week 26 for the year. Takes us from the 24th through to the 30th of June, the final day of the month. And very little change, really. Most of the central northern parts of Europe are looking a little bit on the warmer than average side. Although it doesn't really extend out towards the far west, the far west of Europe for the UK, for Ireland, many parts of France, down to Spain and Portugal, only close to average there. It's warming up across Iceland. Uh, you'll notice, and into the Mediterranean, close to average, really across much of the Med, although a little bit more than average in this southeastern corner. Uh, precipitation anomalies, again, very weak signal. Uh, northern parts of Europe, again, possibly just hinting at a bit of high pressure uh, coming back for Northern Europe in the second half of the month, whereas Southern Europe maybe looks a little bit wetter than average. So it's a little bit drier in the north, but a little bit wetter, perhaps down through the south and into the Mediterranean. Although these are very, very uh, weak signals. So it looks like a mixed uh, June, uh, really, for much of Europe. Um, we're talking about unsettled weather and quite cool conditions in the west of Europe to start off with, through the first couple of weeks up to the middle part of the month. Central and eastern parts of, of Europe look a look good deal hotter and warmer through the first half of the month. I mean, it kind of changes a little bit in the second half of the month, although the signals are quite weak. But it looks as though it perhaps turns a bit drier and warmer in the second half of the month in the north of Europe as it turns a little bit cooler, more unsettled in the south of Europe through the Mediterranean perhaps in the second half of June uh, for the UK and for Ireland though we never really uh, lift the temperature up to warm and average so it starts off cool for the first couple of weeks and then it just goes to average really for weeks 3 and 4 and uh, possibly quite unsettled as well in the first half of the month, maybe a little bit drier in the second half Right, that's it for uh, this first update then. We'll uh, do it all over again next week. Remember, this is just a snapshot of what model is showing. Prone to chopping and changing, so it could all look very, very different uh, next week. Uh, we shall be back with um, your week's 10-day video update on the homepage later on this afternoon. And uh, then tonight we've got that update for download and the Isle of Wight Festival as well. Update number two for those events. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.